It's been a minute since I've played a Rhythm Heaven game and I've been wanting to play something more relaxed and casual recently, so I thought why not give Rhythm Heaven Fever a go? Or I guess beat the beat Rhythm Paradise. More like beat my meat Rhythm Paradise, you know what I mean? But I didn't want to go it alone, so I brought along my friend Michael Jose from the YouTube channel of the same name to help me talk about the game. Why don't you introduce yourself and tell us how you came up with that incredible channel name, Michael? <laughs> Very funny, XYZ. I see you're just as charming here as you were when we collabed on my channel. Speaking of which, how long ago was that? Like, one or two months ago? Glad you finally decided to have me on. Hey, I was busy with some stuff, okay? So I see. You uploaded a whole five videos. Now, tell me, Cruncher. Do you really value three Mega Man games over your best buddy, Michael Jose? That's four Mega Man games, actually, and dude, I've known you for like three months tops. I have more of a connection with the Squidward sock. But anyway, point is, I wanted to get you on this video since you're the resident Rhythm Heaven nut. Um, that's Mr. Rhythm Heaven nut to you, and <laughs> yeah, bruh, I own every game in the franchise. Tengoku DS, Mega Mix, and my personal favorite, Fever. And, uh... I don't mean to brag, but uh, I pretty much destroyed all of them. Well, I guess you're qualified for the role of joining me for this review, so why don't you tell us how Fever differs from the DS prequel? With abnormally large pleasure. Rhythm Heaven Fever is a much more polished and easier game to get into. It was released for the Nintendo Wii, and just the mere change from stylus to Wii Remote makes the game a great amount simpler. The DS's control scheme makes it one of the most contrasting titles in the series and equally the most difficult. Now that we have the beautiful motion stick, more formally known as the Wiimote, no longer do we have to struggle so hard with the tap and flick actions of the DS game. I have to agree with that, you definitely feel a lot more in control using the Wiimote as opposed to the stylus. You feel responsible for your mistakes. In Rhythm Heaven DS, I often found it quite easy to blame the game and the control scheme, but the controls are a lot more responsive here, so you feel a lot more, well, in control. The improved controls do tend to make the game feel easier though, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing in my eyes because I mainly play Rhythm Heaven for the songs, and having an easier difficulty allows me to appreciate the great songs this game has. What would you say are some of your favourites from this game, Michael? Oh, buddy. Such a question is nearly impossible to answer with how many phenomenal tracks this game presents. I personally love Karate Man for its engaging rock and roll vibe and hype-ass lyrics, Packing Pest for its incredibly contagious beat and wonderfully unique melodic sound, and Samurai Slice because it's my wife now. It was love at first sight, and now we're married. Well, for me, I absolutely love Ringside for its infectious electropop sound, but more so for those iconic voice lines that have spawned countless memes. Monkey Watch for its lovely whimsical vibe, and Remix Free for the chorus alone. I can feel the passion from the vocalist's voice with every note. However, that's probably the only remix game I enjoyed, because hot take here, I think most of the remix games, as well as the remix songs themselves, suck ass. You suck ass! These remixes are fucking awesome. Look man, all I'm saying is after my 10th attempt of Remix 2, I wanted to rip my dick off and eat it. I'll take any and every opportunity I can to skip those fucking things. Okay, Remix 2 is pretty irritating to get through, but other than that, the way they pull together all of the minigames from each respective column is awe-inspiring. Remix 3, of course, is amazing, and if you were to give it a chance, Remix 10, which is the amalgamation of all the different minigames that you've encountered thus far, is an absolute masterpiece. You know what? That's a fair point. I still don't love them, but I have to admire how the remixes pull together all of these weird and wacky games and somehow turn them into one singular cohesive piece. They're also quite pleasant visually. In fact, I think the whole game is, to be honest. The visual presentation of this game is really nice, and I feel it pushes a Rhythm Heaven art style to new heights. Everything is so expressive and lively, while somehow not distracting from the gameplay, which while a lot easier than its predecessor, still requires a decent level of concentration. But it can be kinda hard to concentrate on the matter at hand, with how weird and dopey looking some of the characters are, especially when you mess up or even succeed in some cases. Yeah, the one thing that I think makes Rhythm Heaven stand out above all other rhythm games is its innate sense of humor and its slightly less humorous trolling. The game loves to mess with you, which could be a bit annoying if you're already finding the game challenging by itself. The one thing Rhythm Heaven always takes advantage of is players who play the game visually, as opposed to rhythmically. 
In fact, if you wanted, you can literally play a majority of these games blindfolded. I know from experience. That's actually quite interesting since it's never really occurred to me, but you're absolutely right. The River Maven devs are a bunch of fucking trolls. No wonder they'd include something as stupid as Donk Donk. Yeah, fuck Donk Donk! Speaking of which, a lot of the rhythm games in this game are great, but you definitely have some crappy ones like the aforementioned Donk Donk, as well as the infuriating Love Rap. How can a perfectly decent song get absolutely ruined by some arsehole that sounds like a dying cat? Yeah, for real, I don't know how MC Adore ever even considered having this idiot in her crew. He must be a distant cousin of hers or some shit. Aside from Love Rap and Donk Donk, which are just... not great, you can also come across some pretty bland and boring ones like Built to Scale 2, which ruins the catchiness of the first, or Catch of the Day, which is just... like... what? Like, what even is this? Although, with that being said, the tracks in this game are overwhelmingly good. They sound a lot crisper than in DS, thanks to the stronger hardware, and they're just as energetic and uplifting as they were in the last game. There's also great utilisation of different rhythms, BPMs, and if I'm not mistaken, in some cases even odd time signatures. It feels like these things are switched around and taken advantage of more often than in Rhythm Heaven DS, but that could just be me since it's been a minute since I've played it. Another pretty enjoyable addition to Fever is the endless games and extras they included alongside the main games themselves. These range from new games that we've never actually seen, to callbacks to other games from previous titles such as Clappy Trio and Tap Trial. I could play these all day. One of my favorites is the Munchy Monk Endless game. I could hear the music for it on repeat for days and I legit wouldn't get tired of it. And it's really cool to see Clappy Trio and Tap Trial, some of the biggest games from Tengoku, get a clean, shiny new upgrade here. Did you ever get a chance to check some of these out, XYZ? I did mess around with the Toy Car Rhythm Toy a little bit, but I was nowhere near good enough to lock most of the extra content in the game. It does seem really fun, though. I actually completely forgot to mention this in my last video, so I'm glad you brought it up. I think it's really cool the devs include stuff like this in every entry, because... It adds hours of potential gameplay on top of the already stacked main games. And with that, uh, I think we've covered everything. It was great having you on board, Michael. I'm glad you could join me. Um, if you guys haven't already, feel free to check out his content. I think it's absolutely awesome. Thank you, XYZ Cruncher. It, I'm touched. It was a genuine pleasure to discuss this game with you. Now, if you'll excuse me, all this talk of Rhythm Heaven Fever has got me in the mood. I'm going to go and play it some more. Boom!